And Yalabusha County is now coming from under the water for air. Yeah, but with more rain coming, they might be going back under and county leaders are preparing. Our Parker King talks with one supervisor and a resident close to the damage. He joins us live in the studio with more. Parker. Some rural roads have already seen severe damage from erosion, but with an idea about what this potential rain can do, the county will be ready. It's been some time since we've seen the rainfall that we've experienced in last week. But it isn't over for Yalabusha County. More rain is on the way, as much as four inches. For some areas in the low-lying county, attempts to prevent flooding is next to impossible. But county leaders are doing their best to prepare. Well, we're working with the NRCS and we're working with uh, the, our local county engineer and all those channels with our emergency management team. We're just trying to clean the waterways out to where the water can flow as best as possible. One road in particular was captured on video by Yalabusha deputies, showing the gravity of the floodwaters. While County Road 114 was one of the only roads put on social media, we've been told more roads like this are throughout the county. We've had a lot of similar, very rural roads, dirt roads that we've had issues with. Where the uh, water jumped over the culverts uh, and these low lying bottoms, and we're just uh, trying to prepare for those. One resident who lives only feet from the road collapse is Ann Townsend. It sounds like a big crash, like, I don't know, like something was big falling. Townsend has lived on 114 since 2002, and in that time has never seen anything like this. When I came out to look, I realized all the bushes and trees and stuff was going out in the water. Some roads may be a lost cause in the days to come. So to ensure safety, supervisors are simply blocking them off. We're barricading roads that look like they're going to have some flooding. It may seem like the road's only a few feet deep or a few inches deep, but if it's a washout, your car could fall out. And we want to protect that. For Townsend, if another flood is to hit, she won't be there to see it. If it get bad again, I'm going I'm to I'm to leave this time because it's right at my house now. Some areas are even sandbagging certain urban areas like in Water Valley. But EMA Director Frank Hyde told me over the phone that hopefully this next rain passes without too much damage.